guys. I learned something new today and I wanted to share with you. Let me start by saying, I've always prided myself on being fairly intelligent. Now you wouldn't really know it from watching me on here, but um, in school, I was always one of the smart kids. I had brains going for me. Now, I was one of those book smart kids who lacked a little common sense, but yeah. So tonight we're sitting at a restaurant and we're eating dinner because um, we eat out a lot because I don't cook. And, and um, having this intelligent conversation with my husband about the oil spill in Russia. Um, how horrible it is. And poor animals. And the terrible effect it's going to have. You know, for God, like 15 years they're saying on CNN. And I, so I'm sounding intelligent because I watched CNN today at lunchtime to catch up on my current events. And, and as we're talking about this, my kids are having a separate conversation. <laughs> All of a sudden I hear my eight-year-old say something about macaroni penguins. I stop in, in mid-sentence and go, what? What the hell is a macaroni penguin? And I, in my infinite wisdom, said, um, there's there's no such thing as a macaroni penguin. Um, I think you you misunderstood Dora or Diego. She said, no, Mom, there is such a thing as macaroni penguins. They're the yellow one. They have yellow things that come out of their head or their eyebrows or whatever, you know? I said, well, yeah, I, I can picture it. I know what kind of penguin you're talking about, but they're not called macaroni penguins. You know? they're, I think those are like king penguins. So maybe, maybe Dora said something in Spanish that sounded like macaroni, like, what's the Spanish word for king? Yeah, so tonight I get home and um, I look it up on the internet. Yeah, this is a macaroni penguin. Not to be confused. a king penguin. At least it had some yellow on it. Who knew? Macaroni penguins. Who the hell's ever heard of a macaroni penguin?